This is your Daily Dose with Dr. D. Here's Dr. Daniela Schreier. Hi there and welcome back. I'm Dr. Daniela and you're back to get your Daily Dose and I appreciate it. Let's continue with um, your questions uh, from Twitter. So Trial Watching tweeted, he was a nice guy. Uh, if she had been more open and honest, they could have talked about it. And the question was, why didn't Jody just say to Travis, I wanted love and feel like it's not going beyond sexual desire and that's painful for me. I love your question. Thank you so much. But remember, when you are in a relationship, it's not always that uh, easy to ask questions because if it would be, you know what, many people would leave ASAP. In this case, what I'm imagining is that um, Jody had already fallen in love with Travis or at least what she thought was love. She had gotten increasingly attached to him and also increasingly obsessed with him. And why is that so? Because we always value objects or people more who are not completely available to us, especially when we don't have a totally healthy attachment and relationship style. So the more she felt she couldn't get him fully, she wanted the entire package, right? She wanted a commitment, but he showed her clearly that he was a cheater and unfaithful. So she, in my opinion, was very afraid to bring up the topic. If she would have asked him straight out, she would have to listen, number one, to what he would have to say, that how often do you want to ask me the same question and I give you the same reply? No, I'm not wanting to marry. No, I'm not wanting anything exclusive, etc. I think that was actually the, the intent of her sex tape. She recorded it and she purposefully inserted, in my opinion, the section on, oh, who are we going to marry? So it seems kind of she was not that much interested either in a one-on-one -on -one relationship, which in my opinion, she was very much. That was her obsession. So the fact is also number two, Jody might have even brought up the fact and told him very clearly because she is not that submissive. She has quite some aggressiveness in her character and Travis had that too, so they were attracted to each other. I do think that she brought it up because she was the one flipping through his cell phone. She found out that he was cheating. She was very aggressive after that. She followed him, she followed the new girls, etc. So she might have brought it up, but you know, if he was an avoidant man or just a person who used manipulation, in form of avoidance or omission or half-truth, he might have just not answered. Let me tell you my experiences with men in clinical practice and also on the outside. Sometimes they are not willing to commit and they will do whatever it takes to avoid the talk. They might um, cut off conversation. They might say, oh, I'm compromised right now. I don't want to talk about this. Or you know how uncomfortable that makes me. And then for many women, this is not a put off. It should be a put off and they should leave, but they're feeling very anxious. They feel that they can't grasp anymore or hold on what they think is their man and what they think they need in their lives. I do think that um, Jody was obsessed with Travis. He was the object of her desire and she wanted to hold on to him at any cost. Thank you so much for your question and um, I'm looking forward to talk to you soon. Bye bye now. Take care. This has been your Daily Dose with Dr. D. For more, go to drdaniela.com. That's drdaniela.com.